Hi all, this is the badging video for the dive press cutter here at Make Haven. So the die press cutter is a pretty simple tool. It just has these two platens and they squeeze together with about 30,000 pounds of force. Here you have the manual and we have the 15 ton version. It's air powered, so there's a ball valve in the back. When you're ready to use it, you just turn this ball valve to the on position. When ball valves are in line with the, with the pipe, then, then they're on, the air can flow. And then you slide in the things that you wanna cut. So here we have this base tray. It's the one that you need to use with this setup. And it slides in. This is one of the dies. So there are a few cool parts to this die. In here is what's called the steel rule die. Uh, here is an example of the steel rule. So it's just like a long razor blade. And uh, this also has these bars, which are just for creasing. And then these rubber pieces and this foam, which help to eject the uh, whatever it is that you're cutting. So this machine can cut a lot of different things. It can cut foam, rubber, fabric, paper, cardboard, leather. Um, so you would use this tool when you want to make a whole bunch of copies of a flat thing in a certain shape. So for example, this particular die cuts out shapes like this. And uh, this, when you fold it up, turns into an envelope. So that's what this particular die is for, but you can get dies in any shape you want. We do have this steel roll die in the store available for purchase, and there's a bender here. I will say that it's pretty difficult to reliably bend the steel rule into precise shapes. Um, so making something like this would be pretty difficult. However, maybe if you're doing a really simple shape, you are welcome to give it a try. However, you can purchase these from local suppliers. You just send them whatever design you want and they'll make it for you for about $150, depending on the size and the shape and the complexity. Uh, there are also some available on eBay and some other places if you're looking for a shape that other people might already have made. It's important that you get a die that is uh, 0.937 inches thick. So that's, that's the thickness that will work with this setup. So you need to make sure that it's 0.937. If it's thicker than that, these razor blades might just get permanently stamped into this board, which we obviously don't want. So make sure you get that thickness. To use the machine, uh, it's pretty simple. When we're using paper, it works better if there's a few layers here. So I've just stacked up, stacked up some random sheets of paper. And now we can take our die and put it down on top. It's just like a cookie cutter. So we're putting it there, sliding it in underneath. And then to actuate the machine, you need to push both of these at the same time. The reason for that is to make sure that you don't have any hands inside the device when it's actuating. Uh, it would absolutely pulverize any body parts that are in there. So you need to make sure that the only things in there are this base tray, your material, and the die itself. Here you can see it in action. Now we'll slide the tray out. And you can see that it has cut all of these out. So we have all of these nicely cut out pieces of paper with their crease lines. So you can see those crease lines there so that we can just like that. When you're done using the machine, just make sure to throw away any scraps of material and then you're gonna to wanna to turn this air supply off like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to actuate the machine a few times to release all of the pressurized air. And there you have it. So pretty simple machine, but super useful for a particular task. Thanks for watching.